I hope this works. Um, so, um, welcome to the Moonlight Talk. Let me just find my stuff, hopefully. Mm, this, this is good. Okay. Um, hi, we're late, but hopefully I won't take too much of your time. Um, I'm not going to do that many slides. I have four slides because I want to do a hands-on demos presentation. We haven't done one of those for, of Moonlight for a while, ever, I think. Uh, so you've heard about Moonlight all day long, Silverlight and Moonlight, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, the talk is entitled Moonlight and You because it's... I want to show what, uh, what you need to work with Moonlight. You, the user, which you, the developer. What tools we have right now. Uh, to build applications, uh, what works, what doesn't, uh, what features I've, I've, are available, and basically I'm going to show you what I had to do to get the demos working today, so you can do the same with your applications, basically. So you know what Moonlight is, uh, open source implementation of Silverlight. Um, this is the goals that are stated on the site, they're still the same. Uh, I find the, f the third one, the fifth one is funny, but the third one is, is the one I like best because some, one thing that we had from day one was pretty much support for desktop applications because when we did uh, Moonlight um, it was just a quick step to run it on, on the desktop because we don't actually need the browser for anything. It's a GTK backend. The browser is there to provide us a window and, and events, but we can do that too, so it's, it's not that complicated. So uh, usually uh, the good part about that is that m most applications that work on Silverlight, the code can be just compiled for the desktop and run on the desktop with no changes or very few changes, basically. And the more, uh, the more you go into the Silverlight versions, the less, the less problems you have because the less you're depending on JavaScript and uh, web technologies. Originally, Moonlight 1.0 was completely JavaScript and a runtime, no uh, C Sharp, no anything. Uh, but as we plugged in the good parts, which is the C Sharp and the runtime and everything, you cut down on, on the web technologies a bit. So it's uh, easy to do the translation between uh, one and the other. So I like that goal. I like the other ones too. That one's my favorite. Um, uh, this, is, this is how Silverlight and Moonlight works, okay? There's a lot of layers, a lot of structure, a lot of everything. But this is what happens. The runtime is sitting in the middle, okay? It's C++. You don't see it. It's there, you know? You're doing stuff, you as an application developer, uh, you as the user of the APIs. You're doing stuff in C Sharp, right? Which is talking to C++ via a lot of, a lot of calls. Uh, you're, if you're running on the browser, uh, there's two-way communication between all these layers, basically. So when you uh, load the plugin, the pl browser loads the plugin, initializes C++, uh, eventually ends up in C Sharp, which ends up in C++ back again, tells you something in JavaScript, and then you can do calls from one end to the other, and it's uh, transparent for you. Uh, so this is basically what you care about are the two endpoints, and like the middle is what we care about. We hopefully care about it enough so it doesn't <laughs> crash or anything. That's our business. <laughs> so. Um, I'm going to start off with demos. Uh, kill this thing. Okay. So, I don't know if all of you are here for the Mono Develop talk. This is Mono Develop. Um, I'm running it locally. It's the latest build, but it's, it's the same thing that's uh, released. Um, 
Before we had uh, Moonlight integration on MonoDevelop, we had to do everything on the command line. I'll show you how to do that in a bit, because there are important tools on the command line that you will need to know, uh, because we don't have designers and uh, GUI tools for everything. But we do have now integration on uh, MonoDevelop. So, basically, because <laughs> that's what I do on MonoDevelop, uh, it's a Mono Moonlight application project. So, uh, I don't know if this is activated already on the latest version of, where's Luis? It's, it's in 2.4, I think it's, oh sorry, 2.2 and it was in 2.0. It's not, on, it's not on yet, by default. Moonlight type projects on MonoDevelop. It's by default, but some distributions disable it because they don't have Moonlight. Right, 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 because we're, well, yeah. But anyway, we're talking about leading edge, basically, because Moonlight is, uh, the 3 is just coming out, and we're just starting to have all these tools available. Uh, so, what do you want, basically? Let's just go th quickly through um, a little tiny, uh, small sample. Hello world, usually. This is... It has a purpose, believe me. So, i um, just going to change this. Okay. For those lazy of you, well, you probably haven't used Visual Studio any of you, but um, this is pretty close, basically. Um, this is the Hello World that Michael Hutchison, I think, the, the template original, is still there. Uh, the, uh, sorry, Hello Moon, not Hello World. Um, this is your basic uh, XAML uh, description of a Moonlight application. It's just totally empty. Um, if we are talking about doing Moonlight applications like this, you don't have to even leave MonoDevelop to run and debug because it's all integrated right now, which is basically what I'm going to show you. So we are debugging right now a Moonlight application. It doesn't do anything, but uh, if I step in, you can see that it's jumped into this page, which is initialization that's separate. It's a, this is a basic, basic template of a Moonlight application. Uh, so, this is the entry point. MonoDevelop, Moonlight, as soon as we release everything and all the distros have it, that's what you're going to get. Debugging applications, hopefully we'll get a designer really, really nice and really, really soon, so you don't even have to have XAML written down. But it, uh, this stuff is starting to work. So this is a, a generated, the, that's the, back the generated file. So m what Silverlight Moonlight does is it takes your uh, XAML description file and generates, auto-generates all the hookup co uh, codes so you don't have to basically, which is just basically hooking up all the objects that are described on XAML. So there's the grid layout route, which means layout route is going to be hooked up here, so you can uh, access it later. So this is a hello world. This is, by the way, you can't see it because the screen is too small, but we're going to see it in a second. This is running as soon as it shows on Firefox 3.6. Okay, so uh, MonoDevelop launched Firefox, uh, connected the debugger, which is uh, it's asynchronous. And then, so we, you're debugging a plugin inside Firefox on MonoDevelop visually, which is a good step forward, I think. It's a good one. So uh, Miguel was complaining earlier that we don't have Chrome support. We do have Firefox support up to 3.7. I think it's working fully. Uh, we do have Chrome support. And just because he was complaining. <laughs> Dude, sorry. Just because he was complaining. I'm going to quickly work. I'm going to. Uh, fake it, basically. And while I do this, uh, 
Okay, while this is running, you're, you're not going to see it. You're going to see it in a bit. I'm typing, but you're going to see it as soon as this goes. Yes, now you're going to see it. <laughs> okay. So while I'm building a separate branch just for uh, Chrome, uh, come on. Sorry. So what happens is with the Chrome support, Chrome is a bug. Okay. Uh, Chrome has this nice feature of running plugins out of process, so they don't interfere with the the browser. Basically, if they blow up, the browser doesn't blow up. So it just so happens that you can do a pl plugin with one line code that freezes the browser, and that one line code happens to be in Moonlight, so it freezes. So it it does work. It just kind of doesn't. So it just moves that line. Uh, to another place that doesn't freeze Chrome. It just so happens that Firefox doesn't work with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so we either have one or the other. You can't have both. For now, I'm working on it. It's hopefully, it's going to be fixed very soon. So anyway, uh, for now, Chrome support is it's full except for video. So we don't have video because video requires um, uh, a, a backend that we need to do. Firefox uh, has quirks that we support, but then obviously a Firefox bridge for video doesn't work on Chrome. So uh, we need to do that. But everything else basically basically works on Chrome, which is what I'm going to show you in a bit as soon as this ends. Okay, so this is this is a little script that just set up a bunch of LD library path, path, and C include path, and whatever that's sitting on my home. This is really useful because if you don't want to blow up your environment, it's kind of handy because uh, Moonlight runs on a two, the 2.6 branch of Mono, not trunk. So if you want to start playing around with it and you have Mono installed in the system and you, then you have to uh, have a separate Mono, you're going to blow up your system. So uh, I'm going to put this on, when we have the slides uh, on the web, I'm going to put this script on the, somewhere. So y if you want to play with it, you can just uh, pull it and not blow up your system. So we were showing a Hello World. So this is what uh, MonoDevelop created, right? The, f the two XAMLs, two CS. MonoDevelop dumps everything on the bin directory. Um, so I'm going to go there. This is what it, it runs, the HTML page. Uh, I can actually do this because it's just a simple page that Firefox is going to work. This is the same thing that MonoDevelop does, right? It's just to prove just to prove that Chrome works. Chrome works. Oops, you can't see it, sorry. See me all? Chrome. <laughs> there. Okay, now let's just um, switch branches again. Oops. Okay, it's not going to be very. Uh, okay, so now while that's doing that, so we were looking at the application on MonoDevelop, right? There's tools on command line to do the same thing that MonoDevelop does, basically. Um, so we have this uh, Hello World. And what uh, MonoDevelop ex essentially does is run MZAP. MZAP is uh, a front end, uh, it basically drives the compiler and the resource uh, packer and everything to create a zap file, which is basically a zip file. Also the HTML and, and packs every resources in the assemblies. So it's the front end to, to build Moonlight applications, basically. Uh, so if I run MZAP here, it's smart and it knows that everything XAML on XAML.cs is going to be compiled. Uh, anything, any DLLs that 
are yours and that you reference basically are going to be included uh, everything that's in there is going to be included so and it's uh, cute it creates the DLLs and everything it's messy not one develop is cleaner and it creates a HTML page somewhere around here which is usually the, f the same name as the directory where you are so this guy's done uh, so basically it's the same thing um, you just run still in the same place uh, our hello world now the trick is for desktop apps it's very complicated um, you do dash desktop and then you have another tool called mopen uh, which does the same thing as Firefox, which is basically create a TTK uh, window and then initialize the Mono runtime and Moonlight and everything, and basically do the window. So what you do here is call the, the zap file, not the HTML file, obviously, uh, because the zap file contains everything uh, that the application has. And then, and then you have a TTK window, okay? that uh, is running exactly the same code as uh, Firefox. Uh, if you don't want window decorations, bash D will give you what we call a desklet that we haven't touched in a really, really long while, Mystery which is basically, yeah, yeah. I, I fixed it at four in the morning, it still works. Uh, so basically, window with no decorations, which allows you to now do something cute, like, we're going to go to somewhere else, because I love opening windows. There are some very old um, samples of desklets, like three years old, maybe, something like that. They still... Poor thing, this one is, wait. It's, uh, uh, oh, I know, I know, I know why. The launcher has some problem or something. This is old code that needs to be reviewed. There's some problems with uh, the, the GTK side. This code hasn't been touched in, what, two or three years maybe? Uh, so we need to review it, basically. But this is a really really simple clock application that has no code basically it's just all description and animation uh, we can look at the code very quickly so, but it's running on the desktop and it's totally transparent and needs fixing in the drawing there there's no window decoration because it's run with dash D uh, so you can basically do well little applets right um, just uh, so just to show you the difference, that's, that's what dash D does, right? This is the original, the transparency code, uh, has a few bugs. So this is a Moonlight desktop app, which uh, could technically be compiled to run on, on the browser. It, there's no difference. The HTML file doesn't do anything except load the plugin. So uh, this application is very simple. Let's just open with something big so we can see. There's, there's no highlighting, but it's basically just a simple, you know, this is SVG. For those of you who don't know XAML but know SVG, Inkscape can export XAML. So if you want to draw a nice, nice ellipses, nice GUIs, anything, you go to Inkscape, you do whatever you want, you just load the, your SVGs if you have them, and then it just exports XAML, and it'll be done. And you don't have to have any sort of driving code for this, because um, here you have, you have the canvas on top, and this will get drawn immediately. It's just a XAML file, literally. You don't even have to technically compile it. You could just uh, load it. The interpreter will just parse it and, and draw it for you. You just want to compile it because there's C-sharp code that can manipulate these objects and then do nice stuff. The difference between desktop applications and Moonlight applications is that Moonlight is very restricted in what it can do. So the, 
the APIs that you have access to are very restricted. You cannot, you, you only have one thread, which is a theme today, which it's not exactly uh, true, but essentially you have one main thread. Everything that you do, any calls, HTTP calls, anything that you want to do to the outside is completely asynchronous. You cannot do synchronous calls to anything outside your app to make sure uh, the main thread is always going no matter what. So you can't just freeze the plugin and probably kill the browser along with it. And also, uh, there's a very limited subset of calls that you can make. Uh, on the other hand, the same application, exactly the same application compiled for the desktop has no restrictions because it's the desktop, it's yours, it's an application, you can do whatever you want with it. So you can, this is basically the, uh, an interface on XAML, which is, uh, for those who know, SVG, SVG vectorial drawing with animations, with video, which I'm going to demo in a bit, with everything we really want to do that you can draw on Inkscape, basically. You can dump the work on your designers on whatever. You can draw pretty nice vectorial things. And then you can drive it with C Sharp with full access to everything that .NET has to offer in terms of database access, in terms of everything, basically, that the runtime can do. So I, I like it, but I'm biased anyway. You must like it because you're here, so anyway. So that's, let's see, let's go back to our, uh, is here, yes. So yes, this is built. So uh, MZAP for compiling normal or desktop applications, MOpen for running um, desktop applications. Anything else is via the browser. So, so I don't forget we've seen uh, Hello World, so let's uh, look at some demos, basically. What do we have available? Okay. Uh, I don't remember if I built this for the desktop or not. Sorry, it's too big. My mouse is not that good. Okay. Uh, so, um, okay. So this is something I just um, I was messing around with, just to show you uh, different types of. Um, so these are standard moonlight controls, silver light controls, um, dot down box and everything. Uh, so, basically this is an animation dem demo for built-in animations, basically. So, different types of uh, how to animate an object. Uh, so, basically all the animations are done with storyboards. Uh, and then you just define animations, how m long do you want them to take and what type of using functions that they're going to take. So how, how they'll delay or they'll accelerate, what type of stuff that's going to happen on the animations. And this is basically the demo, a bunch of diff storyboards that animate objects. Doesn't do much else, but it's running. Again, if you compile this uh, on MonoDevelop or just thumbs up, you can run this on the browser. It's exactly the same code, no change. So that's animations. You can imagine taking the, the um, decorations out, uh, picking these objects, and then doing, a, doing animations on your applications, whatever they are. So if you want a, I don't know, Twitter client with nice fade-ins, whatever, you can, you can do that. Um, what else? So, um, next, something that's working, again, that wasn't, I'm on the right place. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a more <coughs> detailed 
This is the Silver Toolkit, the Silver Light 3 Toolkit. So it's basically a demo of a bunch of different controls that uh, uh, that we basically have built in. You can use them. It's in, they're in the API. Uh, so this is Silver Light 3. So we are in the uh, the preview. So not uh, not all of this is supported. Basically, we have all the controls, but not everything is working 100%. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, anyway, these. Yeah. So the font is really small. So this is, can you see it? These are all the, the several different um, controls, some of them. Uh, are special, they come in the toolkit themselves, other, others are built in. But they're here, they work, they're running on Moonlight. So, um, I think this one was cute, basically. Okay? So, um, this is fully, oh, okay. I'm going to demo the video, but I'm not going to demo the Mi Microsoft Media Pack. I purposefully removed it because we've yeah. been doing demos with the Media Pack. Five? OK, I'm going to do the demo next. We've been doing demos with the Media Pack, and we know the Media Pack works. I have FFmpeg here, so we can see uh, Moonlight uh, for you guys that are like FFmpeg rules. You can see uh, Moonlight doing uh, FFmpeg. Um, for this is handy for debugging your own applications if it shows if it doesn't blow up the browser oh when it's like huge right yeah forgot this one is huge um, these are features that are not available on, on Silverlight but we have them because we like them so basically you can do it, you can see the entire uh, tree of stuff that uh, is done here because this entire uh, GUI is done on, on, on Silverlight, so it's, it's pretty big. Um, one final demo. We are building up to it. Works. Um, okay. <coughs> one final. Hmm. Oh. Uh, I'm sure I have it running somewhere else again. Really? Ah. Uh. What's the syntax? That's it. Okay. Um. So finally, this is a pure uh, C Sharp uh, um, Serverlight 3 feature, which just got working. We, Dave, David Briefman is working on this, and we just got it working two or three days ago. Uh, well, in 64 bits anyway. 32 bits was working before. But I'm running 64 bits, so I wanted it to work too. So basically, uh, Serverlight 3 has pixel shaders, which take, care, take advantage of um, nice hardware that you have to dump stuff that uh, you really want to be fast and isn't at the moment. So we are implementing this um, and uh, I, I don't think I have updated drivers so it's probably uh, it's gonna be slow on the video because it, this is an NVIDIA and I didn't update my uh, VDPOW whatever but yeah I can't hear it this is running with FFmpeg on the back uh, as the engine, not with the binaries. Uh, for what it's worth, I tried both on this machine. It's the same thing, same speed. It's uh, they're both working perfectly. So we're uh, let's see if so you can tell that it takes a bit of a hit as soon as the pixel scissors go in. But then again, this code this did land a week ago, so it's. <laughs> really not that optimized but this is doing this is a, um, 
this is happening live on runtime. You can apply these, all these effects at runtime because everything is described with XAML and that's easy to just, you can just create XAML on the fly and just dump it. You can do all of this on runtime. And you can do all of this in your application's desktop or, or, or on the web, basically. So you have everything available. And, well, that's all the time I have for, I think. I don't know, well, Q&A, questions? Kill me. Has anyone already tried um, all the pixel shader for many days? Has you already tried um, running it on like, you know, a graphic driver which support um, Guardian? I like think I've so. I think, I don't know, but I think I'm the only one running <laughs> NVIDIA at the moment. Am I? Well, I'm sure. Actually, I think on NVIDIA you have Google, which is already used Guardian for it. Uh, I, there's like, there's, uh, the drivers are too new, there's stuff that's not supported yet, so they, they, uh, uh, we want trunk or whatever. Uh, I'm sure I'm not running them. I'm sure I'm not running them because when I, when I built stuff, half of it complained that I wasn't high enough. So I'm sure this is slower than it should be. But yes, I think Rivman is trying them with decent hardware, so. Moonlight, uh, there's this, the accessibility team is on the site uh, pr uh, putting all the accessibility APIs on Moonlight to make sure uh, everything goes on par. They actually blow us up a lot because it's accessibility, it just pushes the limits a bit. So they're, while we're working, they're working on the site to plug everything in, yeah, in fact, basically. What's funny is that because of you know, government requirements or work in Moonlight, the size of the accessibility team for Moonlight alone is the same size as the Moonlight team at Moonlight. So there's this whole other team inside and out that just does accessibility. Exactly. And it's just they showed up from time to time with huge patches of accessibility to plug into the, our, our stuff, so yes. Platform support, like you mentioned, 64-bit problems. What about non-Linux and non-x86? We well, 64-bit problems is more of the this code, which Reevman was working on 32 bits, and we needed a few tweaks. So we support uh, all uh, Linux and Unixy platforms in general, and all major platforms. Non, I don't know what else. I I'm not currently aware of what else we support. Well, yeah, we did support, yeah, Mac is, yes, exactly. It's just, we are, our focus is Linux and Unix at the moment. It, there's support for there, but it's, there's not, there's no lack of hands, they have, they have basically. Well,